Hey everybody, Brian D here, and today I'm going to show you how to get all of the starter Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet in the Indigo Disc. So first things first, you're going to want to go through the story a little bit and make sure you get up to the League Club room. And then you're going to want to check out the computer over here where you can donate some of the BP you earn to help out the other students. In the League Club's computer, you'll find that there are four options to boost biodiversity in the four different biomes. These are what you need in order to find the starter Pokemon. Each of them costs 3000 BP, so it could be a little bit of a grind to get there if you're doing it by yourself, but I highly recommend doing it with people. If you can do a, a union circle, and farm this with people, it will go so much faster. And now here's all of the Pokemon that are in each biome. For the most part, they're pretty easy to find once you have biodiversity enabled, but some of them are a little bit trickier to find. Torchic is a little tricky. Torchic is actually in the polar biome, and it's in one very, very small cave uh, on this side of the map. I'll show you the location here. All you have to do is really just kind of go to where um, Drayton is and then go up the hill. You'll find this cave here that has a terastalized Matang inside of it. And that's where Torchic spawns. The one that honestly I struggled finding the most was Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil spawns in also Polar and it only has a one square spawn area as well. This one is also in a cave, but the trouble that I had was that I had an outbreak right outside of that cave. And so Cyndaquil would just never spawn. So in order to find Mudkip, you're going to fly here in the coastal biome. And you're going to enter this cave, the Torch Lit Labyrinth. But you have to go to like the very bottom of it and you can find a bunch of them. Score Bunny's found in a great variety of the polar area. Chimchar also found in a large quantity in the polar area as well. Bulbasaur is found pretty much in half of the coastal biome. Charmander has a pretty large habitat inside the savanna biome. Chikorita has also a lot of spawns within the coastal biome. Piplup spawns all over the polar biome. Oshawott also spawns all over the, po uh, the polar biome and you can find it more often in water I find. Froakie spawns out in the coastal biome and Poplio spawns in the water in the coastal biomes. Grookey spawns in the bottom right corner of the coastal biome. Squirtle spawns in the canyon biome. Totodile spawns in a couple spots in the savanna biome. Look out for spots of water. Trico spawns in the canyon biome as well. Turtwig has a pretty big spawn radius in the canyon biome. Snivy spawns in the top right of the savanna biome. Tepic spawns pretty much all over the canyon biome. Just don't go near water. Chespin spawns in the charged stone caverns underneath the canyon biome. Fennekin spawns on the left side of the middle of the savanna biome. Rowlet's just everywhere in the savanna biome. Litten spawns in a lot of the canyon biome. And Sobble spawns near water within the savanna biome. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the video. And uh, be sure to subscribe. I'd super appreciate it. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.